Amen. For those of you who want to key into the anointing of the overcomer, pray these prayer points with fire and with power. My Father, release unto me the angels of power. Do you understand that prayer? One single angel dealt with 185,000 of Sinakirub soldiers. One, one, one. Said, My Father, release unto me the angels of power in the name of Jesus. Open your mouth and begin to say it. That's right. Release unto me the angels of power. In Jesus' name we pray. Now, you will now shout this loud and clear. Oh God, arise! And let your power fight for me. In the name of Jesus. Open your mouth and declare that one. In Jesus' name we pray. Raise up your two hands as you pray this final one in the song. Let your voice be loud and clear. In my life, in a great me long to watch and pray. And to read my back, sing it again loud and claim my life. My life is there is a great revival. There is a great revival. Teach me, Lord, to watch and pray. Father, we thank you for a time like this. We thank you because you are our rock, you are our strength. We thank you because there is none like unto you. We praise your name, O Lord. All other gods are the works of men. They have nose, they cannot smell, they have ear, they cannot hear. But our God is in the heavens. They do it what pleases him. We give you praise, O Lord. Accept our thanks in Jesus' name. Your word says, Of hold, you have made the foundations of the earth, and the heavens are the works of thy hands. So they shall wax old and they shall wither away, but you remain the same. You are the ancient of this. We give you praise, O Lord. This morning, minister to us. Lay your hands upon each person here. In the name of Jesus, I take authority over every wandering spirit i take authority over the spirit of deception i take authority over the spirit that steals people's blessings i paralyze the activities in the name of jesus thank you heavenly father in jesus mighty name we pray a louder amen let's have a seat. god bless you This morning's message is highly prophetic. The Bible says, Believe his prophets and you shall prosper. Believe his prophets and you shall prosper. Praise the Lord. Say this loud and clear. Oh God, arise. And change the rules for my sake. Oh God, arise. oh, God, arise. 
and change the rules for my sake. Can you turn to three person and say the same thing? Amen. Genesis chapter 48. Genesis chapter 48. Are we there? That's our first passage we're going to read. From verse 1. And it came to pass after these things that someone told Joseph, Behold, thy father is sick. And he took with him his two sons, Manasseh and Ephraim. He took them to his father, Jacob. Then what happened? Take it from verse 8. And Israel beheld Joseph's son and said, Who are these? And Joseph said unto his father, They are my sons whom God had given me in this place. And he said, Bring them, I pray thee unto me, and I will bless them. Now the eyes of Israel were dim for age, so that he could not see. And he brought them near unto him, and he kissed them and embraced them. And Israel said unto Joseph, I had not thought to see thy face, and lo, God has shown me also thy seed. And Joseph brought them out from between his knees, and he bowed himself with his face to the earth. And Joseph took them both, Ephraim in his right hand towards Israel's left hand, and Manasseh in his left hand towards Israel's right hand, and brought them near to him. But something strange happened. The old man who could not see was supposed to lay the right hand on the senior boy, and the left hand on the junior boy. That was the rule. That was the standard. That was what was meant to happen. This old man who could not even see them now did a crossing match. Cross his hand. He put the right hand on the head of the junior and the left on the head of the senior. He changed the rule for the sake of Ephraim. Let's read on. Verse 14. Notice that Joseph had correctly positioned his children. And Joseph himself is a first class prophet. So he knew the weight of what was happening there. He knew that as a rule, the greater blessing was meant to come from the right hand. And it ought to be on the head of the elder. And he correctly positioned them. Or verse 14. And Israel stretched out his right hand and laid it upon Ephraim, who was the younger. And his left hand upon Manasseh said, guiding his hands wittingly, for Manasseh was the firstborn. Verse 17. And when Joseph saw that his father laid his right hand upon the head of Ephraim, it displeased him. He held up his father's hand to remove it from Ephraim's head onto Manasseh's head. And Joseph said unto his father, not so my father, this is the firstborn, put thy right hand upon his head. And his father refused. And said, I know it, my son, I know it. He also shall become a people. He also shall be great. But truly, his younger brother shall be greater than he. And his seed shall become a multitude of nations. And he blessed them that day, saying, In thee shall Israel bless, saying, God make thee as Ephraim as Manasseh. And he set Ephraim before Manasseh. Amen. The story is told about the origin of the modern day football. When football started, the football was the blown up bladder of a pig. That was the football. They moved the ladder of a pig, blow it up, and that's the football. When football started, it was village against village, town against town. There is no 11 11. No. It was rough, it was terrible, people's hands get broken, people die playing football in those days. The idea is to get the bladder of the pig to one location in the enemy's camp, they too will try and get one to another location in the enemy's camp. The sport of football got so violent that a particular king in England wanted to abolish it. In fact, he abolished it because he felt it was keeping them away from other things. So after some time, they, they began to readjust the game, they began to readjust the game. They began to put some rules there. And the rules were being followed until one man, came, one boy came along. His name was William Ellis. William Heb Ellis. This boy took the ball in his hand and he began to run. And that was against the rule at that time. 
Don't catch the ball like that and begin to run with it. Since that time, that game changed forever. This boy, Willem, he broke the rules of the game and changed that game forever. The rule in Israel was for the father to lay his right hand on top of the head of the firstborn. The right hand carried authority. It carried power. It carried blessings. And it carried an anointing that they say is only for the firstborn. The blessing of that right hand was only reserved for the firstborn. But when it came to the case of Ephraim, God changed the rule. It was not the firstborn, but his grandfather laid his right hand on him. The rule was changed for his sake. God can change any rule at any time in order to bless his people. God can overrule any law to secure your breakthrough. Any law, any rule, whether it is satanic law or physical law or spiritual law, can be set aside to promote your destiny. That's why I know that for somebody here this morning, I don't know who the person is, any law, whether medical or otherwise, that needs to be set aside to give you uncommon breakthrough, shall be set aside, shall be set aside, shall be set aside. Shall be set aside, shall be set aside, shall be set aside, shall be set aside, shall be set aside. In the name of Jesus, any law that needs to be suspended for you to make your breakthrough, that law shall be suspended. Let your amen roar like thunder. I was this sister from a polygamous home three wives or so all of them had children none of these children ever entered into the university none of them made it but this sister got born again as an SU in the secondary school she was the first person in a family of almost 17 children who entered the university her mother was the fourth wife or the third wife i've forgotten now went to the university made a good grade then after the university university graduation she found the husband. That again is a taboo in that family. Nobody married. Nobody had, all the 17 children. Nobody is married. She was the first person to break through. The men did not marry wives. The women did not marry husband. There was an evil rule. A law of Satan in that family. Any law of Satan in anybody's family. Let that law be broken now. Let it be broken now. Let it be broken. 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 In the name of Jesus. She was the only one who found the husband. And well, the wedding took place. The, their father was there smiling as ever. All the wives were there, whether they were forced to come or they came by their own volition, they were there. And everything was going on well. Until after the reception. And they were about to take some pictures. And the most senior wife moved close to the sister. So you think you can just get everything like that? We allow you to go to the university. We allow you to get a degree. Now you, have, you broke the law. You went and got your husband to marry. So well, one thing. We will not allow you to have any child. And that is official. And she went away. Nobody knew what she has told her. And she danced into the crowd. Every power dancing against you. They shall be disgraced in the name of Jesus. Let your amen roar like thunder. Amen. <laughs> if you understand that prayer, your amen will be louder than that. Amen. You forgotten? I said, daughter of Herodias in the Bible. It was dancing, she danced. And Herod said, What do you want me to do for you? She said, Give me the head of John the Baptist. While she started the dance, nobody knew that what was going to be the result of that dance was the head of John the Baptist. Any power dancing to destroy me. What are you waiting for? Ah! In the name of Jesus. Open your mouth and decree. Strikes. Masika tanda kaya bo shenteraba. Makatende sepola kaya bo shanda. Let your play roll a thunder. In 
Jesus name we pray right from the day the senior wife said that to the ears of this sister our menstruation ceased at the age of 22 she was scared the first month she went to the doctor doctor tested her doctor said maybe it's pregnancy doctor tested no pregnancy doctor said well maybe it's the, it's the stress of the marriage and the ceremony that just relax and for three years no period that was when she came to the mountain of fire amen unfortunately unfortunately the mountain of fire and miracles ministry has been converted to an intensive care hospital after some pastors have taken the people's money and they can't help them they say go to mountain of fire amen we're not complaining <laughs> the god of mountain of fire and miracles ministry is a god of signs and wonders amen praise the lord the player say, hey, mountain of fire, mountain of fire. We have money more than mountain of fire. If mountain of fire wants money more than all churches in this country, all the geo has to do is to mount a toll gate at the front of prayer city. <laughs> Amen. Praise the Lord. But the Bible says, freely are you giving, freely you give. So she came and she cried and told me this story, blah, 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 two years, no period. Then I asked her one simple question. Is it menstruation you want to see or your baby? She said, baby, sir. Okay. Beloved, without any menstruation, you got pregnant. <laughs> but the big testimony, the senior wife who said that to her herself too now is our member now <laughs> she had abandoned her satanic weapon so shall all enemies bring you weapons against you abandon their weapons they shall 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 abandon their weapons in the name of Jesus Matthew chapter 15 that was one story. Matthew chapter 15, verse 22. Matthew 15, 22. And behold, a woman of Canaan came out of the same coast and cried unto him, saying, Have mercy on me, O Lord, thou son of David. My daughter is grievously vexed with a devil. Verse 23. But he answered her not a word. Unlike Jesus. Jesus, nobody ever came to Jesus in the Bible and said, help me. And he didn't help this one. He has kept quiet. And the disciples came and besought him saying, send her away. For she cried after us. She's embarrassing us. Send her away. But he answered and said, I am not sent. But unto the lost sheep of the house of Israel. Then came she and worshipped him, saying, Lord, help me. Jesus now answered and said, It is not meet to take the children's bread and to cast it to dogs. And she said, That's true, Lord, that's true. Yet the dogs eat of the crumbs which fall from their master's table. All I need is just the crumbs. Then Jesus answered and said unto her, O oh man, great is thy fate. Be it unto thee even as thou wilt. And a daughter was made old from that very hour. She was not qualified or entitled. But God changed the rules for her sake. There is somebody here this morning. Almighty will change the rules for your sake. So I 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 change the rules. So I change the rules. So rules for your sake. In the name of Jesus. Let's pick a third story before we now begin to pray. In Esther chapter 4, Esther chapter 4, find Esther after your Nehemiah. Go to 1st Chronicles, 2nd Chronicles, Ezra, Nehemiah, then you get to Esther. Esther chapter 4, verse 16. Go gather together all the Jews that are present in Shushan. 
and fast yet for me and neither eat nor drink three days night or day i also and my maidens will fast likewise and so will i go in unto the king which is not according to the law and if i perish i perish and when esther went there contrary to that law the king gave her audience the rule in the land of media and persia was that before anyone could see the king including his own wife the person must be issued a permission to do so it was against the law of Medes and Persia to see the king without permission. But God changed the rule for the sake of Esther and for the sake of her destiny. I profess unto somebody here again this morning. God shall change the rule for your sake. 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 In the name of Jesus. Listen, beloved. Do you know that God can change a government for your sake? God can kill a pharaoh for your sake. God can kill a Herod for your sake. God can kill a Goliath for your sake. God can kill a Haman for your sake. He has done it before and is still doing it. Every law that must be suspended for you to make it will be suspended by fire. now millions and millions of people they are under the evil laws or rules assigned to control them we call those one satanic laws satanic decree that is why prayer is sometimes a battle there are three heavens there is the heaven places that we can see when you look up then i say second heaven the second heaven is the headquarters of darkness that's why the Bible talks about spiritual wickedness in heavenly places. That's where they are. That's a third heaven where paradise resides and where there is the throne of God. When prayer is prayed, it goes through by the blood of Jesus to the third heavens. When the answer is coming back, it passes through that same place again to come. It's at that level, that second heaven, that battles now arise. Daniel prayed. The Bible said day one, God answered his prayer. But for three weeks, 21 days, there was an angel of darkness in that second heaven preventing the angel to bring the answer of Daniel. If Daniel had stopped praying, the angel would have just gone back to heaven with the blessing. But as he continued praying, his angel of blessing was empowered to come through. God had to send a reinforcement to that angel in the second heaven so that he can allow Daniel's blessing to come through. That's why the other time, when brother Okokojoko prayed, he said, Father, I want to get married in the name of Jesus. And the answer from the third devil, and the angel took the lady, was bringing his right down to him. At the second heaven, the angel bringing the lady to Okokojoko was confronted by the strong man of his father's house. He said, Angel, where are you going? He said, I'm taking a wife to Okokojoko. He said, no, you can't. He said, because his great-great-grandfather has made a covenant with us here that the children should not marry. This law is here. We did not make it. They made it with us. So, angel, sorry. You cannot because this is what they've done here. And so, because of that law of darkness, the angel said, well, sorry, I'll report back to heaven to tell them that there is a law that is here. And they returned Kokodioko's wife to heaven. Close your eyes, beloved. Strong man of my father's house, contesting with my angels of blessing. There is somebody who needs to shout this loud and clear. Oh my God. Some don't understand. The Bible says, Why do the nations so furiously reach together? And why do the people imagine a vain thing? He said, the kings of the earth, they rose up against the Lord, against the Lord, and against his anointed. So there are demons, there are demons, there are powers, there are powers. There are some powers strong enough to even want to plan a coup against the Almighty. There are some powers, say, come out in the name of Jesus, and he will tell you, I'm not coming out, and he will sit down there. Can you now shout this loud and clear? Strong man! Confronting my angels of blessing. Your time is over. In the name of Jesus. 
दस वर्ष सांत भी सांप लिखे ना कुछ भी कुछ भी कुछ भी Jesus name we pray That's wonderful Let's continue a little bit further The almighty God is elevated above the highest creature The almighty God who said I am the alpha and omega Alpha and omega a greek alphabets if you want to say in the modern day language say i am a and z i'm the alpha and omega the beginning and the end who was who is and who is to come the almighty said the lord so no matter what anybody has said what any doctor has said what anybody has said what lawyers have said what the situation is saying there is still one voice that can overrule and suspend anything they've done. Three months back, one woman rushed there and said, please tell Joe to just give me one bottle of anointing oil. They said, they said that two kidneys had failed. So she was going to in, so one hospital in India to, re, to re, replace the kidney. So we passed the anointing oil to her and she went. They did about six surgeries like that in that hospital. Six. All the other five were having complications. She too started having, but immediately she, she drank her natural and put it on her head, and she was as strong as she was. So the five others in the world and they saw her. Said, Madam, what is in that bottle? Said Anantina. We noticed that when you were having your complication, that's what you drank. Can we have some? She said yes. Gave it to them, and as they were using it. Their complications were disappearing. Then the doctors noticed. And they began to wonder, what is this? What's that? By the time they now got to their hotel room, where they were supposed to rest for one or two days before coming to Nigeria, $5,000 that belonged to them had been stolen from the hotel room. So what did this woman do again? She put the anointing oil on the floor. Say, whoever stole this money, you must, you must bring this money back home. Because, because I pay my tithe. Second day. They rush one of the people walking in the hotel to our room. The legs were as big as a big balloon. Says, Madam, I came to your room. I stole your money. Say, please, just take the money back. Make these legs go down. I pray that any power stealing from you too shall be disgraced in the name of Jesus. God, the Almighty God is subject to no one he is absolutely independent the bible says our god is in the heavens he does what he pleases no one can outsmart the almighty no one can hinder the almighty the almighty is unlimited in power woe unto him that calls his power to question woe unto him that is striving against his maker let somebody shout your loud and clear my lord disobey every satanic regulation in the name of Jesus open your mouth and pray in Jesus name we pray now what do you do to get into the center of God changing the rule for your sake when it comes to you. And they say this position, we don't do anybody, anybody who does not have a master's degree cannot get to this position. That's the rule. That's correct. But God can change that rule for your sake. So, well, a new contractor, you don't, you have not done business with us before. We don't give people, you're a, you're a dark horse, we don't know you. But your God can change that rule for your sake. They say, ah, well, in this particular family you have married into, the wives, they always die during childbirth. But for your sake, the Lord will change that rule. <laughs> what do you 
do to be in that center so that when there is a rule that wants to hinder your destiny god overrules it it suspends the law for your sake second corinthians chapter 5 verse 20 second corinthians 5 20 listen to me very very carefully now <laughs> very carefully now second corinthians 5 20 now then we are ambassadors for christ though god did beseech you by us we pray you in christ's stead be ye reconciled to god be ye reconciled to god he says we are ambassadors for christ so you want to be the central piece of god change the rule for your sake then become an ambassador for christ become an ambassador for christ become a representative of christ on earth here ambassadors are appointed and sent by their countries to a foreign land the bible says we don't have any abiding city here we're all citizens here as a believer you're a foreigner on earth a foreigner we have no abiding city here our citizenship is in heaven so you are an, you are supposed to be an ambassador for christ here as an ambassador an ambassador speaks and acts on behalf of their country you are supposed to speak and act here as somebody from heaven that's what the bible says except a man be born again or born from above he cannot see the kingdom of god ambassadors are backed up by delegated authority given to them by their president or their king so authority has been delegated to you so behold i give unto you power to tread upon serpents and scorpions and over any power of the enemy nothing shall by enemy hurt you therefore so go into all the world and make them my disciples ambassadors they don't raise their own support all expenses are paid by their home country your god is able to do all things and is a magnificent provider when is an ambassador all expenses are paid for you ambassadors they represent someone not themselves although their presidents are not physically present where they are they speak on behalf of that president the same thing with you as a believer although god is not physically here for us to see now but we are supposed to speak on his behalf jesus look at those people who came to throw stones at him because he told them i and my father are one and they said you are making yourself equal to god they took stones they wanted to stone him say hold on hold on say is it not written in your law your law that ye are god they now thought about it because they know the bible so yeah that's what the bible says the law says so that ye are god so an ambassador representing his country in the place is speaking on behalf of his president an ambassador lives in a place called the embassy and whenever the property for the embassy is acquired when that property is acquired and the country has taken over that property that place is no longer called embassy now it is now called the name of that country that land that place so when you walk into the property of an embassy you have just entered another country that's why when there is a crisis some people people rush to the embassy of a particular country to hide there as an ambassador your property becomes heaven's property when you meet an ambassador you are not meeting a person you are meeting a government i'm telling you our position now so you know why the rules have to be changed sometimes for our sake so we are citizens of heaven we represent christ and when you greet an ambassador when even when they greet themselves they bow and say your excellency sir when you kick or slap an ambassador when he is not an ambassador you may be charged for assault but immediately he becomes an ambassador and you slap him now it becomes an international incident this is a serious matter likewise we're sent here supported by heaven and we're representing the king of kings and the lord of lords we are the occupation forces for the victorious lord jesus christ he won the battle on the cross and we're supposed to occupy it till he comes this is the cross of the matter and the question you should ask yourself this morning am i really an ambassador are you an ambassador there is one course we teach at the pastor's college in mountain of fire 
the title of the course is Who are the true ambassadors of Mountain of Fire and Miracles Ministry? It's the course. It's, it's in one of the courses we teach the pastors. We tell them, an ambassador of Mountain of Fire and Miracles Ministry is addicted to our vision. An ambassador of Mountain of Fire and Miracles Ministry is the one who practices unashamed holiness. Holiness within and without. You couldn't be bothered what the people in dark are saying about your dressing. How can, some, how can somebody in darkness dictate to you in the light how you dress? You should tell them how to dress. Not they tell you how to dress. I want us all to understand this very well. We teach them a true ambassador of Mountain of Fire does not create problems for the headquarters. We teach them that a true ambassador of Mountain of Fire America's ministry is a man or woman of integrity. We teach them that a true ambassador of Mountain of Fire America's ministry is a person who stands in a place and if everybody is telling lies, somebody should be able to say, you are from Mountain of Fire. We know you will tell us the truth. You. Meaning that it is possible for somebody to be a pastor of Mountain of Fire and he is not an ambassador of Mountain of Fire. He's the ambassador of his belly, ambassador of his back account. It's possible. So you see, all places have their ambassadors. When you are an ambassador of Christ, you seek first his kingdom. All other things is relevant. You will listen to the song of the hymn writer who says, I will make sure of heaven and I will enter the gate. In the book of your kingdom, with his pages so fair. Tell me, Jesus, my savior, is my name written there? A true ambassador will seek that first. My father, when he was a pastor, there was one day he went into three days drive fast. Only one prayer point. Father, I want to make heaven. One prayer point. I must be there. And you must convince me that I'm going there. Day one, didn't say anything. Day two, didn't say anything. Day three, he now saw a vision. In that vision, he saw a very narrow pathway. He said the pathway was so narrow that even the white garment he used to wrap himself, he had to wrap it carefully because it was brushing the bushes around. And that the road was so narrow, you couldn't dance on that road without dancing to the bush. It's one step at a time, you have to move in. He said he saw himself in that narrow pathway. And that he heard a voice. He said, son, your fasting cannot bribe you into heaven. It is written, narrow is the way that leads to heaven. But broad and wide is the way that leads to destruction. It says, strive to enter by the narrow gate. It says, because few there be that find it. You could be in the house of God all the days of your life. And be in the broad pathway. In the broad pathway, there is room to dance. There is room to maneuver. There is room to do this, to do that. There is room to fly about with all kinds of women and all kinds of men. There is room to commit fornication. There is room to steal. There is room to be telling lies. There is room to be doing all kinds of rubbish. Because it's the broad way. But what is narrow? It will restrict your life. It will restrict your friends. It will restrict certain places you cannot go again. For narrow is the way that leads to life. And few, few, there be that find it. Rise up on your feet. All eyes closed. If you are here this morning, you are not born again, you have not just surrendered your life to Jesus. Do so very quickly now. Make sure you find that way of life before you begin to decree things this morning. See the way of life. Find it and get it. So seek you first the kingdom of God. All that things shall be added unto you. If you are here, you are not born again. You have not just surrendered your life to Jesus right there where you are. Just raise up your right hand and say what I'm going to say after. Say, Father, in the name of Jesus, I come before you now. Lord Jesus, come into my life. Take control of my life. In Jesus' name, amen. If you are here this morning and you know that you are not really an ambassador of Christ. You know it. You know that if he comes now, if Jesus comes now, and begins to write the names of those he will take to heaven, you know the hidden things in your life. You know the cleverly concealed sin. You know. You know yourself. But don't deceive yourself here today. Right there where you are. Bow down your heads. Ask the Lord to forgive you. Tell him to forgive you. Tell him you want to be his ambassador. You want him to begin to change the rules for your sake. Do so now.
as we sing this song now, if you are in this service this morning, you saw the rapture taking place. You saw it in a vision. But you saw that you did not go. Please find a way to this altar and bear your knees now. You saw the rapture. No, you saw it yourself. That people were being, being cut away. But in fact, you didn't go anywhere. Find a way to the altar and bear your knees. You can't continue like this. God has an agenda for your life. All to Jesus I surrender all to you I freely I will ever love and trust him I will ever love and trust him in his presence there I surrender all. Those of you at the altar, say what I'm going to say after me. Say, my father, I come before you this morning. I know that you have a controversy against me. That's why you showed me that revelation. Father, I come before you now. Anything in my life scaring heaven away, Father, forgive me. Beginning from today, I vow before you to walk straight before you in the name of Jesus any sin that has tied me down any Uzziah in my life that has not allowed me to see the Lord let that Uzziah die today Father lay your hands upon me thank you Lord Amen Father I raise these people here up to you by the power in the blood of Jesus let every sin be cancelled and wiped off. Let them experience the touch of Jehovah. Whatever power is binding you from going with the rapture, let those powers be scattered in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Lord. In Jesus' name we pray. You can go back to your seat and sin no more. Sin no more. Sin no more. Sin no more. Now, we're ready to pray some prayers. This prayer is for those who are expecting the unusual to happen. Those who are expecting the uncommon. Those who expect things to happen that people will look at them, they will open their mouth in wonder. Say, how did this happen? What did you do? What did you do? This prayer is for such people. Pray with reckless violence. Pray with merciless violence. Pray the kind of prayer that will shake down the gates of hell. Pray in an uncivilized manner. Because this is a serious matter. And to many of us, we have unwritten laws of our father's house that we are following. It is against those law and against the strong man in the second heavens we are contesting with now. Somebody cry, Father, make me great, make me great. And an angel was said, Go and give this man the power of greatness. But at the second heavens, the angel was confronted. I said, Where are you going? He said, He wants to be great. He said, Ah, no, ah, no. Look at this law written here. In, in that family, they are not supposed to be. 
They are supposed to be hewed as of wood and fetch as of water. So angel, sorry, maybe you are not aware of this law. You can't take this blessing there. Angel goes back to heaven. There are powers that send angels of blessing back to heaven. We call it the mystery of unassisted angels. That angel had to cry out to heaven. They had to send angel Michael to come and assist that angel. If Daniel has stopped praying, that angel will not have been assisted to come down. So, what I'm telling you this morning is, the prayer we are praying is going to the second heavens. It's not ordinary prayer. So, this is not the kind of prayer you pray. Your body does not know you are praying. Your spirit does not know you are praying. So, if your head guy is too tall and it's probably, it's possibly going to fall down, just remove it and place it on the chair now. If you know your heart will fly away, you better put that out and put your chair on top of his eye. It won't fly away. Because it's a serious matter. Many of us have been struggling against these unwritten laws. We don't know who wrote them, but we're passing through them. Father, give me a house of my own. And they just say, take. Then he's confronted. He says, sorry. Sorry. Unless this rule is changed, it's not possible. If a big city will die. So, so angel, you better know what you are doing. This is a serious matter like fire and like thunder that's why i want you to roar in desperate prayer this morning not only roaring in desperate prayer but believing his prophets that it shall be so as you are saying oh god oh! i change the rule for my sake there is somebody who is a shout This woman over there, why are you keeping quiet? Look at the angel by your side. Shout it again loud and clear. In the name of Jesus, open your mouth and begin to pray. I don't like what I just heard. The Holy Spirit said, My people have not started praying yet. Ah. It better be serious. Better be serious. Because immediately we started those prayers. A lot of things came out from under the ground to confront some people. Some even came. They said, Dr. Lukaya, what's your problem in this matter? Right now, from the grave. That is, well, this place has always been like that. Everybody in the family has been like that. So he's, everybody has to be like that too. Oh God! Oh, I change the rule for myself. In the name of Jesus. That's right. Change the rule. 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 Change the rule, change the rule. Masika pushen tera boko pola bara bakansa. Aha, 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 aha. Aha, aha. You see that things are happening. Continue, continue, continue. Yes, receive the uncommon, unusual breakthrough right now. In Jesus' name we pray. Wonderful things are happening now. That's right. That person over there, the powers that are lighting evil candles against you, their powers have been quenched now. I somebody here. The rage of death fights in your family between the age of 40 and 42. For your sake this morning, that ordination has been cancelled. That's right. 
Yes. The evil clock that is working against your life has been broken to pieces. The bullets of infirmity of your father's house is dead now. Now with fire and with power. Every satanic law I say, law behind every Jericho wall. I say, you stand there. Don't move. Can I hear the sisters roaring like thunder? <laughs> Brothers roar like fire. negotiate there is no it's not a day to negotiate you see those powers that came out from the grave they went back in disgrace just now every law, every law. tormenting me can i hear you shouting this loud and clear every in the name of jesus every law tormenting me Jesus name we pray listen they always attack you they always attack you they say they attack 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 it's because they recognize you they see you they know you but if you pray this prayer I'm going to ask you to pray that the Lord should change your identity to fire so when they bring their weapon they will think you see the same person they were fighting before but this time they will come across fire Where is the Lord God of Elijah? Arrows! Change my identity to fire! Can you shout it loud and clear? In the name of Jesus! That's right! Aha, aha, aha. In Jesus' name we pray. You don't understand. Fire has no respect. Fire does not respect the law of gravity. No matter how tall the building is, fire can go from first floor to last floor without any assistance. Fire has no regard for the law of matter. The scientist says matter is anything that has weight and occupies space. Fire is not liquid. Fire is not solid. Fire is not gas. No respect. That's why I say change my identity. That's why Elijah is known as a man of fire. He is the one who popularized the God that answered it by fire. What I'm saying to you is this. When the witches gather against you again or they bring their weapon against you instead of seeing you now they will not see you again what is going to confront them is fire where is the lord god of elijah Allah, change my identity to 
for fire in the name of Jesus. In Jesus name we pray. So they have been coming to make scratches on your body. They have been coming to mark your body. They have been coming to strangulate you. Can anybody mark fire? Can anybody strangulate fire? If they try, what will happen? Where is the Lord God of Elijah? Allah! Change my identity to fire! In the name of Jesus! In Jesus' name we pray. Say thank you, Jesus. Before you go home from here, I need to fire the fallen arrows to the camp of the enemy. Then you can go with your testimonies and your miracles. I fire the arrow of blackout on the camp of my enemies. In the name of Jesus, open your mouth and fire the arrow of blackout. The arrow of blackout. That's right. Thank you, Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray. Say the spirit of death and hell shall not overtake my life. In the name of Jesus. Open your mouth and declare that word. In Jesus' name we pray. Now, finally, before you depart from here, you will cry out your name and you will say this. After shouting your name, you say, Disobey every satanic law in the name of Jesus. Can you shout your name and say the prayer? Disobey every satanic law in the name of Jesus. Open your mouth and say it. Disobey their law. In Jesus' name we pray. As you have decreed in your mouth in this service, so shall it be in the name of Jesus. Every law that needs to be suspended, that needs to be overruled, for you to possess a possession, for you to enter into your full scale laughter, let that law be suspended and be broken now in the name of Jesus. It shall be well with you. The Lord will bless you from Zion and make his face to shine upon you and be gracious unto you. You go from strength to strength and from glory to glory. And this week shall be a work of wonders for you. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Let us share the grace in fellowship.